seem to do it. Right? Yeah, we were aware of it. Uh, I, th I think we were just trying to get it through the flow of the game, honestly. But then when Coach told us to pull back, then you know we just did it out of respect. So, you know, the team played hard today. You got to give hats off to them. How bad did you want to get that record? Uh, we wanted it. I mean, but we just want to win, honestly. So, so you're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> So we, we just wanted to execute and make sure we were taking care of business. Justin, the same with you. Is that something you really wanted? Um, yeah, that's what we came in. You know, Pete was talking about it before the game, but at the end of the day, we was coming in there looking for the W. Were you disappointed that Nick ordered you to pull it out? Um, no, that's, that's, that's every game. It doesn't matter if it was, you know, the celebration or not. It, at the end of the game, you know, hold the ball until the, until the clock starts zero. You were on the floor there at the end, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Did you have the ball when you I didn't. Uh, John Cross had it, and I looked over there, but then I was like, nah, he, he, he doesn't want that, so I'm glad he just dribbled it up. Yeah. Of course, you guys know if you would have made free throws, you would have done it easy. Uh, yeah, I talk, that's what I was saying, you know, talking to Kyle and Trevor and Jeremy when they came to the line, it's like, just make our life easier, like, make our life easier, and, you know, knock down our free throws, and we'll be able to get to that 100. But, you know, we fell a little short today, but, you know, it's always a hug when we get to W. Kyle, what's it feel like in that first Ten minutes when you guys are thirteen to thirteen from the floor, four or four from the free throw line. When it seems like everything's going in. You know, we just wanted to uh, reinforce the message that we're we're ready to go. I mean, we're not taking any of these games for granted. It could be Coppin State, it could be the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, we're ready to play. So, um, you know, we were just ready to play. We wanted to show the coaches that we were focused and locked in. We wanted to execute on our assignments. So it was a good start, but we got to make sure we shore up some things in the second half. Kyle, how did it feel to be back in the starting lineup tonight? You guys keep asking about that. I mean, I just, I just wanted to play. I just ready to play. You know, it does. That doesn't matter to me. You start me, you not start me. I'm just ready to play, ready to contribute. After the 13 for 13, you went 19 for 50. Was that like just a lack of focus? Is it hard to maintain that focus? Or what, what do you think happened? I think they made some adjustments. So we just got to keep on making adjustments and play hard. And uh, you know, we just have to make sure we're we're playing smart. And, you know, that starts with me. And, you know, Stowe keeps on doing a great job of conducting when he's out there. So we just got to make sure we listen to our point guards and we stay cohesive the whole year. Justin, you've hit your career high in scoring now twice in three games. What's different for you this year? Um, just coming in the game being more aggressive. You know, everybody comes in and says, you know, I'm, I'm a pass first guard. You know, if I go ahead and, and be aggressive coming out, then it will make my assist a lot easier. He worked extremely hard too this summer. He put in so much work, and I'm proud of him for that. So, you mean on your shot or just what? Um, being aggressive, getting in the paint, my shot, because everything is gonna open up when when my shot is falling. Either way, if I'm if I'm attacking and I'm getting in the paint, then everything else is just gonna open up. Justin, how much do uh, you and Kane push each other in practice? Every day, it's, it's no days off for me. And we make sure you know we talking to each other even. You know, he could be killing me or I could be, you know, playing playing better that day. You know, we always can make sure we got 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 each other back. You know, we make sure we go at, go at each other every day every day because we know when we get on the court, you know, we're on the same team. And it's, it's, it's just, when we're in the game together, it's just crazy. But every day in practice, we make sure we push each other all the time. Kyle said you put in a lot of work this summer. Was there any particular things that you were looking to improve on going into the season? Um, really, the, the main focus is just making sure I keep my weight down and make sure I get to my goal weight. That was really my main focus, making sure I'm in the best shape of my career. How much do you guys look forward to the Cayman Islands? <laughs> well, for me, this is my first time going across the water, so it's going to be it's going to be exciting. So I'm 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 ready to have fun a little bit, but I'm, but it's always business first. What about you, Kyle? Yeah, we're going down there on a mission. I mean, I wish I was going down to Cayman Islands for a regular vacation, but we're going to be locked in. <laughs> And, you know, we're going to go down there and get some hardware. You know, there's some good teams down there. We're going to just maintain focus. You can still get three straight 100-point games to start with your streak. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Justin, who, who do you think is faster between you and Ken? I mean, I mean, it really, I can't really decipher it. We got two different games. So, you know, I can't really decipher the two. Just a straight-up foot race. He's big on foot races. We <laughs> <laughs> me and Kay go ahead and figure that out. We go ahead and go ahead and record that one day and put it on Twitter. So. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Aaron.